Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be using for the very, very first time and giving you my first impressions of the new Elf and Chipotle collab, <laughs> which sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I'm excited, um, which is why I'm looking a little blank today. I did not do my eyeshadow or lips, which I mean, I haven't been doing lips a lot recently, but I wanted to use for the first time this palette. Now, if you know me, you know I love green, so I kind of want to go for a green look, but it might stop me from using a lot of the other shades in the palette. So I'm thinking I might have to do the green on the lower lash line and check that, check those shades on my lids later. The chunky boy is coming to join us. And now he's just staring at me. <laughs> but um, I think I'm gonna try and go in and use the majority of these shades over here and then do my lower lash line green because I'm just really curious. I cannot wait to see how these shades actually work. In addition to the palette, I also got the Hot Salsa Lip Gloss. This is supposed to be a plumping lip gloss. And again, I've not used this. I literally got this package in late yesterday and I'm filming it first thing in the morning so I can get it up this weekend for you guys. So this is the lip gloss and it's quite adorable. Let's see if it has a scent or anything. Oh, it smells like the Red Hot uh, gum. That's what it smells like. Interesting. <laughs> So I've already primed and set my eyes. I always prime my eyes. I just primed with the Dermacol makeup cover and then I just used my face powder, which was the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, just to set it down. So let's see, what shade do I wanna start with? Oh, before we jump in, let me go ahead and throw in some swatches to show you guys here. So let's see, what shade do I want to go in with first? <laughs> I'm thinking of doing like a neutrally kind of lid of these. Let me go in with this shade right here, which let me do the overlay. That is the white rice and then the brown rice shades. So it is white rice, brown rice. So let me go ahead and try white rice first. This looks like it's gonna be close to my skin tone. So it might just blend in. Oh, no, it's a little lighter. Okay, great, because I was looking for like a nice little transition into these darker shades we're going to get into. So I'm feeling this like first thing in the morning. So also the reason why I wanted to go a bit neutral is because I am going to be wearing this to work <laughs> today. But then again, I work from home, so I just have to look decent for my Zoom calls today. Okay, so let's do this. I feel like I cannot do this video without talking about my Chipotle order. Right. We actually, so when I, whenever you ordered the palette, they actually gave you a coupon code for free chips and guac at Chipotle, which I thought was hilarious, but it did get us to try Chipotle again because we haven't actually gotten Chipotle since we moved. So there was a Chipotle that was nearby. Um, we placed an order through the app and then went to go pick it up. So my Chipotle order. I love the burrito bowls. I've gotten burrito bowls literally the entire time I've gone to Chipotle. I'm not a huge fan of the big burritos and I can't really handle it. Yeah, it's just a mess. Are you focused on my face? I think you are. I've always gotten a burrito bowl and I always do brown rice. Um, oh, speaking of going into the brown rice shade, but I always do brown rice. I like the black beans. Let me see, I'm trying to go down the line. So brown rice, black beans. I don't get the uh, veggies or anything because those tend to wilt kind of quickly in there and I don't see them looking that great for the most part. So uh, brown rice, black beans. I like the steak 
the most. I always get steak. And for the most part, if I do double steak, that's two full meals out of one bowl because they give you a lot of um, a lot of product in the bowl. So I do double steak. And then for toppings, I just do the mild, either the pico or the mild salsa, whatever they call it, just the tomatoes. Um, and then I like lettuce, lettuce, sour cream, and cheese. Those are my faves. And I only get guac if I get chips on the side. So we got the free chips and guac, so we got that on the side as well. What's your favorite Chipotle order? Or do you even go to Chipotle? The first time I actually went to Chipotle, um, it was like my freshman year of college. I had not, there was never a Chipotle nearby before I went to college. Um, and like my first date in college, we went to Chipotle. <laughs> Okay, so those first two shades did have some um, fallout, but it did brush away nicely. So I'm going to keep that in mind as we go into the darker shades. Let's see, I'm going to go in with this shade. Um, one thing, I kind of wish they put the shade names on the palette because all they, it's just on this plastic thing. So I have to come back and look at it. So this is, okay, so it's the shade Pinto Beans. So I'm going to go in with the shade Pinto Beans and then Black Beans. So Pinto Beans, Black Beans. And um, I'm going to, let's use a card. So I'm going to use a card to bring in Pinto Beans. And I tend to use the card if A, I know a product has a lot of fallout and I don't want it to like mess up the rest of my look, or B, I really want that sharp defined like eyeshadow line. Doing the same with Black Beans. Okay, so I have to say that is blending out really, really nicely. I am getting a lot of kick up from the pan. Let me see if I can show you. In these two shades, it does kick up a lot, but they seem to be very pigmented and they blend out really nicely. So, surprise so far. Kind of like that shade. We could use the corn on the inner corner. Yeah, let's do that in the inner corner. <laughs> We're going to use corn on the inner corner. <laughs> oh, that's stupid, Monica. Why is... This is what happens when I film at 7.30 in the morning and I still have a cup of coffee in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the glitter glue and use the Sofrita shade on my lid because I think it's gonna match really nicely. And then I wanna go to the lower lash line with the green shades. And then I think we're gonna do the inner corner highlight with the corn salsa, or the corn. Is it called corn salsa? Corn salsa shade. Okay, so while doing the lid, I did get some fallout again. And it brushes away nicely. Nothing bugs me more than fallout that like stains. Like, ugh, I hate it. So that's good. That's good to see. Let me do the other eye. All right, so my lids are done. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed so far. I like the shades. They're pigmented. They look really nice. So let's start with finally digging into the greens. Let me see. What are the shade names? Boop, boop, boop. Lettuce, guac, and green salsa. So we have lettuce, guac, and green salsa. I kind of want to go in first. Let's go in with lettuce, just because I want to see how that blends out on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take a flat brush like this. I have to say, I'm actually getting a lot of use out of the mirror in here. It's a nice big mirror. Again, I did get a lot of fallout just from the shimmer shade. So the guac, I think it was the guac shade. Again, I wish they had the shade names just on the palette. But guac did give me a lot of fallout, but it did brush away, didn't stain. I do like that. Uh, it looks really pretty. I really, I cannot wait to do just a green look. I really want to test those out. Um, so that will be coming after this video. So to finish up this first look, I'm going to use the corn salsa just in my inner corner. Let's take that on my inner corner brush. Okay, so this is the completed eye look. Let me zoom you in.
So I have to say I was pretty impressed with most of the shades that I tried out today. I think that they're mainly like really pigmented with the exception of the guac shade. I kind of wish that had a little bit more pigment, but that might just be because I was using it on my lower lash line. I really want to test that out all over my lid to see how it really performs there. I also kind of skipped out on like the two red shades. I also want to do like a really warm toned red look. I am going to come out with a full review video, but I can also put out any other videos that you guys would like to see. So let me know down below. Overall, I, I'm pretty impressed so far. I love the, the shades. I love the just the concept of it. I think this is a really well executed uh, collab. I love the mirror. The packaging is just really nice and sleek and it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like this is like a perfect size palette. Let's try the lip gloss. So this is the Make It Hot Lip Plumping Gloss. And all I have on is a little chapstick. So let me take that off. Ooh. I do have to say it is coming off like glossier and more red on camera than it is in real life, but it's cute. And I do feel a little bit of the tingling. And like I mentioned before, it does just smell like if you got that red hot like gum, I'll throw a picture up. So there's like this chewing gum where it, ta it smells just like that. Okay, we are getting a good amount of tingling, but overall I think it is it ties in with the eye look and I do think it looks nice but I am going to test this out of course just like the palette and see how it performs throughout a full day how often I have to reapply it if it does actually plump to be honest I'm not a huge fan of lip plumping glosses just because I've never felt like I needed those for my my lip shape but we'll see I'll test it out so this is the final first impression look using the elf and chipotle collection let me know down below other than a full review video what other videos you guys would like to see with either the palette or i don't know what i could do with the lip gloss but if you want to see anything else with the lip gloss thank you guys for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye